Welcome to the Drexel University Libraries EndNote X4 tutorial. In this chapter, we'll be examining some organizational schemes you can apply in EndNote. One really lovely feature is the Groups feature. You'll notice Groups listed on this left-hand portion of the page. If you right-click the My Groups section, you can create a group, and I've seen a few things done here. Depending on individual users, you might select a particular theme, and I've also seen cases where people have labeled this according to the section of the paper they're working on. For example, introduction, methods, and so on. If you would like to put a reference in a particular group, it's very easy. We're currently viewing our main library. Now let's see, I'm going to select a few various items. I'm holding the control key and clicking on a few different references. Once you've selected these items, you'll need to drag and drop them over. Be careful, you'll want to be in this All References section first. Notice that our items have remained highlighted. I'm going to grab them and just drag and drop them over into this folder here from My Groups. You'll see that Addition symbol activated, just let go, and that's moved these items over. And in fact, I should say that it copied these items to that folder. If you'll notice, the citations and references are still within the main library. However, if you click into the group that you created, it will show that those items are there as well. So this is a really nice feature. You also have the ability to create a smart group. If you right click My Groups, you'll also see the Create Smart Groups feature. By creating a smart group, you can set up criteria in which EndNote will automatically search through your library and pull back relevant results related to whatever you establish here on this page. For example, you could search for a particular author. For example, if I did something like Han, I could also call the new smart group on. I would just hit create and that would automatically search through my results and pull back anything meeting this criteria. We could also search by date or also through the title of the work as well. If you're interested in seeing more options you can always click on the pull down menu and you'll see the various fields that you can search through. So this might save you a little time as well if you're interested in setting up a smart group. This concludes this chapter. Thank you.